Hello and welcome to Pendulum Divining and Dousing with Lyman Holton. Today we're going to be using this beautiful Dalmatian Jasper Crystal or stone if you prefer. Dalmatian Jasper. Jasper is a type of quartz. Mineral impurities give these crystals their varied unique appearance. This particular type of Jasper quartz is called Dalmatian because of its dark spots which are similar to the markings made famous by the Dalmatian breed of dog. Also known as Dalmatian stone is normally mined in Chihuahua, Mexico. For healing and meditation, Dalmatian Jasper helps us to overcome stressful times. It provides a sense of tranquility and helps to bring out the playful child in us. It's good for grounding and is associated with the base or first chakra, which is one of our seven major chakras and is located at the base of our spine. Very beautiful stone. Actually looks like it's been painted, but no, it is, it is natural. It is natural. What I'd like to talk about today, oh, by the way, cheers. Nothing like a good cup of coffee. Today, let's talk about acupuncture. Do you know what acupuncture is? Well, for anyone who doesn't it's know, an alternative medicine, a Chinese traditional medicine, it's administered by a practitioner by inserting a thin needle into and through your skin. This is done at strategic points to alleviate pain. And it's also believed to be able to uh, 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 take care of other complaints a person might have as well, medical complaints. What I'd like to think about here is, is that it needle. sounds kind of odd that you could take this little tiny thin needle and put it into someone's skin with the idea of alleviating pain by hitting a certain nerve, right? Well, nerves are really tiny. Now, of course, the people who do this are professionals and many people claim it truly helps them. So I know someone who is having a lot of back trouble right now, but it's not like their spine is twisted or something. It's muscular pain in their back. So, this person's been going to an acupuncture clinic. Not that that's the only thing they've done. They've gone to normal Western hospitals, large ones, and about all they do is say, here, take some pills. So they don't really do anything. Tried a sports hospital. They were massaging the person so much that they actually ruptured one of the discs, caused a great deal of pain, and uh, it, they did help to some degree, but not nearly enough. And now the person's afraid to go back to this sports hospital because they might get further injury. So acupuncture. And it does seem to be helping the person. They've been going there for eh, about four times now over the last two weeks. And it isn't very expensive. So the first question I would like to ask is, does acupuncture have any real medical value? Simple yes or no question, right? So we'll pull up our Dalmatian Jasper crystal and ask the question. Now you can ask these questions verbally or just in your mind. Either way will work perfectly fine. Now for me on video seems to make more sense I'd say it out loud. <clears throat> so uh, okay, and again, remember now, we have to have good intent. Our intentions must be just for 
our answers to come through as we want them to, correctly, truthfully. Also, we have to be careful how we word our questions. If we were to say, uh, say you sit down to eat a meal and you ask your pendulum, is salt good for me? And the pendulum comes back with a yes. Well, you might be shocked because perhaps you have high blood pressure and you've been told by the doctor, hey, you need to stay away from salt. It's hazardous to you. But the pendulum may be saying yes because salt is good for you. If we had no salt in our systems whatsoever, we'd die. So, yes, salt's good for you. Now, more appropriate question would be, is it in my best interest to add salt to this food? Different question, right? And the pendulum did come back with, no, it is not in your best interest to add salt to this food. Okay? You, you would think they were the same question, but they're really not, if you think about it. Okay, so let's see if we can ask these questions and get the answers uh, that we would expect truthfully, right? If we're asking correctly. Does acupuncture have any real medical value? And there we go. Counterclockwise means yes for me. Okay, next question. <clears throat> and the question is, can acupuncture alleviate muscle pain in a person's back? Can acupuncture alleviate muscle pain in a person's back? Well, very definite no. It says no, it cannot. Now, the person I was talking about a moment ago, they claim that it does help to alleviate the pain in their back. Now, right after the treatment for the rest of the day, maybe the next day, their back is sore from having those needles poked into them. But after that part has healed up, they feel like they have less pain, less of a problem. But We'll go with what the pendulum is saying here. So, the third question, third and final one. Can acupuncture permanently correct a medical condition such as chronic pain? Well, again, we have no the pendulum says no, it cannot permanently correct a medical condition such as chronic pain. Now, you have to think about these questions. So, what is the answer that we're getting? Could it be that if someone goes to get acupuncture, that it works as a placebo? meaning that if you believe it's going to help you, it does. But the acupuncture itself isn't really helping you. Psychologically, you're helping yourself. Mentally, you're fixing yourself. You've got yourself believed that it's going to work, so it works. But according to the pendulum, it's not the acupuncture that's doing it. Now, is this little few minute video actually going to change the way the world thinks about this thousands of year old uh, alternative medicine? No, of course not. But it is what the pendulum is telling me. Now, could I be getting the wrong answers? 
Yes, I certainly could be. But on the other hand, what I'm getting here, it actually makes sense to me. What do you think? Does it make sense to you? So I'm going to sign off for this video and goodbye for now.